Okay, so now what we can do is we can um, start the process of downloading the file uh, that we're going to need to upgrade your HDS uh, Gen 2 Touch Unit. So the very first thing I've done with my laptop, and you have to have a laptop or a PC that can take an SD card, is I came over to Computer, all right, and I double-clicked on my C drive, and I created a folder right here. Um, called Lawrence Update 2.5 and to do that you just right click over here new folder all right and then you would left click on folder and name it the same thing I did if you want or something else well I already created one all right so that's going to be the location that we're actually going to save the file to so let's get started we're going to go out to Internet Explorer Expand the page, and I'm going to type in the Lawrence website. Lawrence.com. And it pops up to their welcome screen. We're going to click on the United States. Jump right up here and click on support. I'm going to scroll down. Sorry, click on support, choose support. And right here you can see that um, software updates are available, the date of their release. All right, we're going to go through the HDS Gen 2 Touch version, uh, latest version 2.5. If you had a different unit, you can click here, find your unit, and see what software upgrades are available for it. All right, so we're going to simply click on this one. It's thinking. I'm not sure why it's taking so long. Back up again. Click on support again, and there's the version that we need to download. There we go. Right, and scroll down a little bit. And I want to point out these installation instructions right here. What it's saying is that the only file that should be on the blank SD card, right, is the update file. Period. All right, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this zip file right here. It's the one we want. If you want to see all the new features uh, in the release, you can download this addendum, and you can read that. And I would recommend it because it's not going to be covered in your manual uh, with the new features that it uh, provides to you when you complete the update. So we're going to click on the zip file, and we're going to choose Save As. And we want to go out to that particular folder, right, that I had already created, computer, all right, C drive, Lawrence, update 2.5. And you can see that I've already done it, and I'm doing it to save time in a video. So I've already saved the file there, but basically what you would do um, is you would just click on save right here. You would see the progress bar, and it takes maybe 10 minutes, which is why I want to have this done ahead of time to save some time but you would click save and when it's completed all right you would have this file right here so we'll minimize this oops let's say cancel and we'll minimize the Lawrence website um, and then we'll just continue on with the process so over here in our C drive you can also see I have an SD card already in there so very first thing it said that we needed to do was to make sure that that SD card was blank 
So I'm going to right click on it and then left click on format, start. Gives you a warning it's going to delete everything. Click OK. All right, now we have a blank card. So I'm going to go back to my Lorentz update 2.5 and I'm going to right click on the zip file and then left click on extract all and it tells you where these files are going to be extracted to and then just simply click on extract and this does not take very long which is a good thing and there you have it there's the file right there this update file version 2.5-45.1.38 Next thing you want to do is you want to copy that file and then paste it to your SD card. So I right click and I left click on copy. All right, and then all I need to do, all right, is to come back over to this area. Here's my E drive or my SD card. It's telling you the folder is empty. I'm simply going to right click and then left click on paste and it's going to copy that file to my blank SD card which is exactly what you need because the next video is going to show you what to do with the SD card and how to uh, finalize the process of updating your HDS Gen 2 touch unit. And this is the most lengthy part right here. All right. So now we have the file. It's all saved to our uh, E drive, which in this case is our SD card as well. So we're pretty much done with that process. So the next video will go over how to take the SD card, go over to your unit, and complete the upgrade.